Hello and welcome to this brief uh, tutorial. Um, just imaging the sun at the moment using the astrophotography tool. Um, already got and connected up as you can see we're running in live view. Um, just going to quickly get the sun back in field of view for us. There's an interesting prominence on here that uh, I thought might make a good opportunity to create a quick training video while uh, observing it. So obviously, obviously this is live. Um, I'm just pulling that into field of view a bit. You should see a prominence on there. It was there a second ago, but we're using hydrogen alpha, and there's a bit of a sweet spot. There it is. Can you see that prominence? There we are. Now, what well, where we are at the minute is I've got to open the planet tree. I'll just close it down and open it up again so you can see that. Uh, that's the planet tree. And it opens up this screen down here. As far as I can make out, the HD doesn't work. But if you come to the start here, the recorded live view, and just put in however number of shots you want, then click on start. So, say four frames. It's taken four shots for me, in other words, into a folder. I'm just going to quickly, because my drive isn't working here as well as it should be, so it's going to nudge that back into field of view. There we are. So we can get a couple of nice shots of that prominence. So I'm going to click on start again. And it's saved hopefully 10 more shots. Now what it's done, if I come back here, minimize that down. And then go to raw images, the folder you've probably seen in other tutorials. Double click in that, and LV. We're looking at around about 1420, so we're down here. As you can see, this is what it's done. So it's literally taken... A whole batch of very quick successive shots which for the kind of work I'm doing is pretty useful indeed so this wouldn't only apply for solar astronomy I don't think this would apply for if you were imaging a nebula like M42 you could take a series of quick shots like that so I'm just going to bring this back in the field of view again my drive doesn't appear to be working too well uh, there we are. Let's see if I can probably put it over to the side of the sun. For that, I'm going to take the towel off so I can see what I'm doing. Always trickier doing this kind of thing when you're doing it live. But here we are. Let's just pull this limb up. I know there's another prominence just further up the limb down here. There you are. I can just about probably see that. So I'm going to take another quick array of shots there while I can. Uh, for my equipment that's quite a very useful utility. But something else I wanted to demonstrate with that is each time you do it and you come back, see how it's created them in another folder. So you've got another folder with those shots in. And okay, maybe they're not so well preserved this time you can also see there you've still got the object in field of view up there which is handy although I'm gradually losing it again but you know much the same of the rules applied as before in that you can um, change where the images are going to and so on this is just a follow on for the previous tutorial that you've seen and of course obviously from here um, if I come out of that increase the brightness from here too if you want to I'm gradually losing the sun here, but you get the general idea. And I can rotate counterclockwise, which is handy. Especially maybe if the orientation is wrong for you in the first place. Let's fucking pull the sun back in again. Oh, there we go. It's very, very tricky doing it at the moment. My drive just doesn't appear to be working. You also slip horizontal and flip vertical. Uh, well, I should have said that here, but there's a, a prominence on the bottom. I think I'll quickly grab that while I'm here. And that was previously there. There it is. Seems to be more pronounced down there for me anyway. But there you go. You can also do a live view stack. Which, oh, yeah, 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 that's enough. Which means you could stack um, X number of images from the live view directly, which kind of helps in a way to phase out slightly the use of Reggie stacks if you're using that. So um, you can browse images here 
as you will to see how they were you know, how they've been getting on as you've been doing it so um, again just a very brief tutorial but I felt that trying to wait for a clear sky to go over uh, especially the summer period um, any DSOs using this software a bit tricky but I've actually the yeah, first time I've used it for the um, for the sun and um, I'm, I'm happy to keep using it I think but uh, there we go um, I'll leave you with that and uh, have some fun and always observe the sun carefully if, if you're going to be uh, doing this kind of work and with um, the crept op optical devices never look direct sun with any optical device or you'll blind yourself thank you for watching